One yes. second. So, who, McGuire, hi. Welcome. Uh, uh, I think I know his stance McGuire. on this movie already. Alright, so we're there battling about whether Godzilla vs. King Kong is um, a good movie. McGuire is taking the affirmative, and um, Funtime is taking the negative. We'll okay. start uh, with... Judge Squishy. Judge Squishy. Who's, yes. Yeah, who's starting? I'll have you start okay. first. And clock okay. is now. Okay. Alright. Um... A reason number one. Uh, two giant monsters fighting on an aircraft carrier is objectively cool. And if you want proof, it's objectively cool. And oh, that's pretty good evidence. <laughs> Alright, fun time. What do you got? What do you got for us? Hey, so personally... It makes sense, but it's objectively That is true. That is true. The fight scene. I will agree with him on that. The fight scenes in the movie were good. They were pretty good. But the story was so bad that it was so bad. It just didn't make sense. Like the second I finished the movie, it felt like I forgot all the story because it was so all over the place. And the me the part of, like with Mecha Godzilla really confused me because like first it was about these guys controlling Mecha Godzilla and then randomly it just kills the guy controlling him. I just didn't understand that. That was very weird. And then okay. it felt like the villain. It felt like the villains were so useless in that movie, and they didn't do anything. Cause like huh? I swear there were like three movies, like three. I mean three villains, and they all just like died it left and right. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, McGuire, is there anything you like to rebut there? Uh, yes, I would. Um, reason number two. Two monsters fighting on an aircraft carrier is objectively cool. McGuire, <laughs> <take it. laughs> yeah, so if you're not gonna take this seriously, I will boot you right now. Respond right, to what he fine, said. Fine, 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 fine. Um, I'll admit that the writing for that movie was a little all over the place, to yeah, say the least. It. I win. I win. That settles it. I win. No, oh, well, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't watch a Godzilla vs. Kong movie for the story. No one- the, the only time you'd watch a Godzilla movie for the story is the very first 1954 one. You watch a Godzilla movie for the epic fight scenes. Literally every time I watch, uh, what is it, Godzilla, uh, Mr. Kiryu or Godzilla Tokyo SOS, I fall asleep, literally, like at the beginning of, uh, the- at the beginning of the movie, because there's nothing important happening with the humans, and it's all boring. Like and then when the issue. monsters come in, I'm like, oh. Did someone just play the Among Us? What? What? I could've sworn I heard something. <laughs> Where did that come there. from? Among Us? Okay. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my all right, all right, all right. So it sounds like it's evolved to uh, a story that shouldn't matter in a... In a giant monster movie, is that something you can agree with? Yes. Dude, I'm just saying, me yes. personally, I kind of watched it for the story. That's just all I'm saying. I did, watched it for the story. Did you I'm watch? The story kind of sooner. Kind of sooner. Oh. Kind of sooner. Kind of sooner. I messed that up. I messed that up. Please don't make fun of me. Did you um? Did you watch um? The, the 2014 Godzilla or the King of Monsters movie? Okay, that movie was had an actually okay story. The 2014 one was actually kind of good. Well, oh, oh, the two ones before Godzilla vs Kong were pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, okay, and you like them because of the honest, story. I'm, I'm more of a fan of the Kong movies, if I'm being honest. I'm, I gotta agree with that. The one. Kong movies, the Kong movies were a lot. The Kong movie was a lot more unrealistic because, well, the reason monsters. number three. What's supposed to be realistic about them? You're, you're well, talking about least... two monsters fighting on an aircraft, and now you're complaining about that not being realistic. That's the point, is that it's not realistic, and most Godzilla movies aren't realistic. There's at least some little believability there. You have to sub sub like, subdue some uh, non-believability, I guess, um, when it's just giant monsters. But then you add the fact that they're on an aircraft carrier, and also we're fighting in the freaking... Um, why are we fighting in the, uh, the, the crusty crab? <laughs> Can't keep it on top, <laughs> sir. Oh, you guys, oh, you're talking about Halo Infinite. I was so confused um, right there. Godzilla vs. Kong vs. Mr. Krabs, true. <laughs> Alright, oh I got the So, anyway, um, I see their main disagreement here is that 
you know, monster movies, whether or not monster movies should have um, a good story, basically, or a good, uh, good writing throughout the story. No, they don't need to. They don't need to. Cause no, that, that, that's movie. the disagreement. That's the disagreement. Because Funtime yeah, thinks yeah, that I'm it should. Yeah, I'm not agreeing with him on that. I, I, I personally only like stories if they have... I mean, oh my gosh, I cannot think. I only like movies if they have a good story. And that's why you didn't like the Mario movie, correct? Yeah, it was very bland. Kind of like... Liverless chips. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's okay. respect yeah. chips. <laughs> so, I think that... There's a line, a, 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 excuse me, a line drawn from a movie that's focused on the plot and a movie that's just pure fun. You don't watch Thomas the Tank Engine for the story. Okay? I did when I was six. <laughs> yeah, when you were six. But you watch it, you watch it for the third. <laughs> you don't I'm watch sorry. Thomas the Tank Engine for the lore, okay? You watch it because it's Thomas the freaking Tank Engine. So, I'll I will be honest, bro. Thomas was sense. my least favorite character in that show. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let him build his argument. Let him build his argument. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'll I think... shut up. I'm, that's my bad. It's okay, it's okay. So, I think we're trying to, like, say that you explain why the story shouldn't matter in certain stories. There's certain elements that elevate it beyond that, right? It's hard to draw the line from when a movie uh, can and can't, doesn't need. <laughs> Uh, should and should not focus on um, its story to be, you know, a good movie. Mm -hmm. For example, Saving Private Ryan. If Saving Private Ryan was unrealistic and it, uh, it had things that weren't accurate to what happened during World War II, it would not be nearly as high regarded as it was today. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you can. And it's not and not necessarily. Uh, you don't necessarily need uh, to completely ignore the story on um, a goofy movie. For example, um, a giant monster coming out of the Tokyo Bay and wreaking havoc on Tokyo. That was done in 1954, and it's considered a movie classic. So, although it's not important. It isn't necessary to make a good film because when I watch freaking Godzilla versus Kiryu and Kiryu drags Godzilla through buildings and destroys them, that is, excuse my French, fucking cool. That was the most fluent French I've ever heard. <laughs> no has oído nada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. That was that was actually a beautiful statement. Fun time. You got? Do you have a response? Um, if I'm being completely honest, that kind of went into my brain and then like left it immediately. <laughs> I kind of don't know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I'm just kind of like wing it and like try to like remember what it was based off of. Um, here's what I'm gonna ask you. Cabinet for quick. me. Huh? Uh, I'm just gonna ask you this question. I'm just gonna ask you this question. Did you enjoy the fight scenes in Godzilla vs Kong? That were kind of mid. That kind of mid. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Not that good. Damn. Squish, you might. Walmart. You might have. Walmart. You might have to uh, end this here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is. Um. Pretty sure we got <laughs> at least like four to three minutes left. Incorrect things. Just spreading this information. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Roughly I... 38 seconds ago. I'm just saying. I've seen better fight scenes. From Ooh, what? Boy, howdy. First off, the end fight scene with like with Mario and Bowser. That was. Fun. Oh no, oh, that's no. it. Get out. <laughs> Get <laughs> the. Get <laughs> the. Blasphemy. Fuck out, Cora. Kick him out. Kick them both out. No, Goodbye. No, no, wait, no, 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 wait. No, 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 it's just me. No, mm. please, man. All right, fine. Me. Closing argument. Oh. Whatever, go ahead. But then uh, you're out. Put down like a dog. <laughs> you got 50 seconds. Go. 50. Uh, another thing I, I found weird was um. I it no, it left my brain again. Um, All right, I kick him out. The, kick him. No, kick him. Kick him. I can remember it. <laughs> um, no, I can't. Just kick me. <laughs> kick him. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, that was that was amazing. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Ernie. <laughs> How are you doing? What's that about? Uh, like, I went on a rant about Super Mario, and we went into I compared it to Kong vs. Monsters because it also had a very like very thin storyline, but the action and the Kong's arc really carried it for me. Whereas uh, Super Mario was like not a good movie story-wise whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, there's the timer. So that, that was what that was about. It's nice to see you join us. Ow! Cur Curious this. George solos King Kong and Godzilla. Jesus Christ! Uh oh! They jammed me. You know, I kind of believe it. If anyone's gonna find out how to kill either of them, it's gonna be Curious George. 